Hello! For this video you'll need graphite oxide in deionized water at a mixture of 4 milligrams of graphite oxide per milliliter of water. Next you'll need ethylene diamine as a weak reducing agent which you'll use at 20 microliters for every 5 milliliters of graphene oxide solution. I chose these essential oil vials because they have a wide neck to release the hydrogel easily. The first step after mixing graphite oxide and deionized water is to ultrasonicate the mixture for about 45 minutes to create graphene oxide. You can use an ultrasonic cleaner bath, but it will take longer. You will want to do this in 10 minute steps so the solution doesn't heat up and start the reduction. Next, add the graphene oxide solution to your containers, filling them up as much as you want. Just make sure to leave some space in the container. I am testing different shapes of the aerogel, so I'll be using different size containers and filling them up about a quarter to a half. Now you'll need to add the ethylene diamine to the solution. 20 microliters is basically the size of a droplet. Once you add the ethylene diamine, you'll need to mix it in as it starts to work right away. I simply seal the container and shake it up as I walk over to the oven, much more than what is shown here. Now, add the containers to a preheated oven at 205 degrees Fahrenheit, or 95 degrees Celsius, for six to eight hours. After that, let the containers cool to room temperature. Once cooled, you can remove the reduced graphene hydrogel into a glass of deionized water. I am being extra careful here, but the hydrogel has a consistency of jello, so I could simply duck the containers into the glass and the hydrogel will lift out. The next video I will show the freeze drying process, then the final step of microwave irradiation to produce the final graphene aerogel. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions. 